This is the um, last lecture of sugars, and uh, what I'm going to be talking about are um, important sugars that we haven't talked about. Um, we really stopped at the polysaccharides, uh, one for structure cellulose and the other for food, um, starch, and, and glycogen. But you'll see sugars um, everywhere in nature, and these are some of the important sugars that you should be able to recognize and um, be able to tell um, what function they have in, in, um, in our lives. All right, so I'm gonna start with um, probably the most important sugar um, in nature is the deoxy sugars. And as the name says, um, deoxy, um, it's missing um, sugar. And where is it missing? So deoxy, um, it's missing at C2. So notice at C2 um, that the OH is not there, but it's replaced by H, all right? So that's why they're called deoxy sugars. So at C2, OH is missing. and replace by hydrogen, all right? And this right here um, is um, because the CH2OH and the um, OH, so it's, it's uh, a five member ring and um, notice the uh, anomeric carbon OH is in the same side as the CH2OH, so that's why is beta, and then at the second carbon is where the um, OH is missing, so that's why it's deoxy. And then this type of sugar, five-member ring, is called ribose, and that is the uh, name of the sugar, beta-2 deoxy ribose. And this sugar is prevalent in D DNA, And you could see uh, a DNA right here, and you could see the uh, deoxyribose. Um, and notice that sugar unit is connected at the anomeric carbon to uh, one of the DNA bases um, at nucine. And so this whole thing uh, you should recognize is um, an example of a nucleoside um, and you've seen, you know, these in your biology books um, before as part of DNA and RNA, all right? Uh, I'm not going to go uh, further more into than just recognizing that uh, the structure of sugar in this, but um, when we have time in um, Unit 4, when we do biochemistry, uh, we should be um, going over uh, some of these structures um, DNA bases as well. All right. So the this uh, deoxyribose that's connected to one of the uh, bases, they belong to a class of uh, sugars called glycosylamines, and glycosylamines are the sugars in which amino group is uh, replacing the um, anomeric OH. All right. So these are Pacific sugars in which amino group replaces the anomeric OH, all right? So notice here's a, an example of it. Anomeric carbon is right here. In sugars, you see an OH. And why is it beta? Because the NH2 is up, same side as the CH2OH and it's glucose de derived um, and it's perenosyl amine um, because it's a perenoside. So notice the amino group and they belong to a class of compounds called glycosyl amines, all right? So the reason why the, the nucleotide, um, the deoxyadenosine belongs to this class is because that nitrogen of the base um, is connected to that um, anomeric carbon in place of the OH, all right? So that's why 
that belongs to this class of sugars, glycosylamine. All right. The next type, I want you to be able to distinguish the uh, difference between amino sugar and a glycosamine is that in amino sugar, the uh, amino group replaces non-anomeric OHs. So if you see an amino group uh, anywhere else in the sugar except for the C1, so for example, this one right here, um, which is at C2, that belongs to a class of compound called amino sugars. All right, beta D glucosamine is the structure of this. All right, often these amino groups are um, acetylated. What do I mean by the acetylated? Is that instead of um, existing as NH2, um, you have I'm not going to draw all the OHs, but you have NH and then you have an acetyl group attached to it. All right. Oftentimes, that's how amino sugars are found. And um, these acetylated uh, glucosamine are important for, um, uh, it's an important component in uh, bacterial cell walls and it's a major component in in uh, something called chitin, which is the um, polymer. So chitin is just a, a polymer of the uh, N-acetylated um, glucosamine. So uh, everywhere else you got the OHs. And um, what you have then is um, a polymer of it. So you have this connected to um, at C4 and then you have you know NH C double NO CH3 and then you have so you basically have polymer polymer of um, this so think of this and acetylated as the, your monomer monosaccharide and you're making a, a long uh, polymer out of it and that's what is um, called chitin that's the polymer and that makes up the shells of lobsters and crabs and insects and um, everything that's like really hard skeleton uh, type is made up of these uh, polymers all right and the, um, the last uh, type of important sugar that I want to go over are what, what we call glycoproteins and glycolipids. All right, so anytime you see glyco, that's referring to the sugar portion. So obviously glycoprotein is sugar linked with proteins and that's chemically linked, okay? And then glycolipid is sugar linked with lipids, all right? And here's like a, um, a picture of it that you often see in um, biology books. So uh, that's a um, cell lipid bilayer and off the lipid bilayer, see this coming off? That's a glycolipid because this uh, circle that is sticking out it are the um, sugars. So each circle is representing monosaccharide and you have that sticking out of the cell surface in glycolipid. And in glycoprotein, this big uh, mass is, is a, a protein. And off of that, um, it's kind of hard to see, so I'm gonna draw it out. But basically you have another um, sugar unit coming off of this protein and that would be called glycoprotein. All right. And these are often found in um, cell surfaces as you see in this is diagram. And what is the purpose of having glycoproteins and glycolipids on a cell surface is this is how um, cell recognition occurs. So think of these um, carbohydrate as markers 
off of either the lipids or proteins, all right? So they are serving as markers on the cell surface. So this is by which the cells interact with other cells and um, including invading bacteria and viruses. Um, so this is sort of how immune system works and how cell recognition occurs, as I said. So um, they know that, uh, for example, tumor cells have their own carbohydrate markers. And um, it is possible to uh, develop vaccines against cancer, um, but that's, you know, that's currently being worked on. Um, it may take a while to figure out how to do this, um, but that's one of the uh, reasons why glycoproteins and glycolipids are very important. Um, you'll see later on also that um, human blood groups, you know, you have like the most common one, uh, blood type O, blood type A, blood type B. Um, the difference between these different blood groups is is the uh, carbohydrate marker that are on the blood cell surface. And so um, basically the whole point of knowing, recognizing these glycoproteins and glycolipids from your point of view is to be able to tell me what the function is, which is um, cell recognition and um, used as markers. All right. so. You should be now able to answer uh, from the previous page all these questions that were the goal of um, last two lectures. Um, so you should be um, able to answer what is chitin, uh, what is glycolipids and glycoproteins, and what's the function or importance for those. Um, and that concludes the um, sugar chemistry. Uh, for this unit.